Yes, greetings from Planet Gospel, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a better name with Circus Clown, a kind of kid. Real name's David. Um, happy Easter and these things. Real quick, I just wanted to recap on three major facts um, that I feel like I'm going to do this every Easter. I like, might as well till my life's up before me. But yeah, without wasting too much time, fact one, Jesus existed. You feel me? Like, this is a fact. Like, it's not just an opinion. It's not about religion. It is a historical fact that this man called Jesus is actually a historical figure who actually walked the face of the earth. Like, it's a fact, right? And this is external biblical sources. You feel me? So it's not like bias. You feel me? It's not just Christians saying, oh, Jesus existed. No. A historian atheist is, is saying, you know what? I don't believe in the religion stuff. I'm not religious. But that guy, Jesus, the leader of the Christian faith, he actually existed. Fact two, he died right he actually died now in view of the fact that he died yeah we have to ask the question today why is the tomb empty you feel me which leads me to fact three but i'm not gonna go into fact three just yet i just want to elaborate on fact two yeah it's a fact that he died medically speaking if you know your history yeah no one has ever been able to survive a full Roman execution. There's no one in human history that survived that. The Romans were very good at killing people. They were very skilled at killing. These executions, they made sure that these criminals were, were, were killed, like they were dead. They pierced Jesus in his side, bro. Like they didn't just flog him. They, they pierced him. They made sure that he was dead. So it's a fact, right? So he did die, right? Fact three, he rose again. It's a fact because all now, no one's been able to explain how and why the tomb is empty. There's been a bunch of theories. One of them is that he didn't die in the first place, which is why I wanted to sort of elaborate the fact that he did actually die. It's a fact, yeah? So he died, medically speaking. And these are by doctors who aren't even Christian. They're like, no, in view of the fact that we know the science behind this, no one could have survived such a thing. The fact that he has actually died, he did die and rose again, it authenticates everything that he said and everything that he did. It proves that he was who he said he was. He was actually God in the flesh and that's a fact, right? And he proved it. What happened in the end is that Jesus rose again like he said he would. And then we had a bunch of witnesses, eyewitnesses, over 500 who actually witnessed him and saw him after his resurrection. Happy Easter, everyone. This is why we celebrate and believe what we believe today. It's not just religion, dark. It's not just beliefs. It's not myths. It's not ideologies. It is facts, yeah? It is undisputable, undeniable facts. You feel me? So, yeah. Give your life to Christ, man. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Also, in conclusion, he's the only one who has ever walked the face of the earth and claim to be God and also said that he is the way, the truth and the life. No man comes into the Father except through him. No one, no leader of any other religion has ever made such claims. Glory be to God forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Like, like Peter said, we did not follow cleverly the Christ tells when we made known to you the glory of our Lord. He said, but we ourselves are eyewitnesses. We saw it ourselves. We actually heard the voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son. Listen to him.